Lucasfilm just fired Gina Carano, a beloved star of the hit Star Wars series The Mandalorian. Why? Because a Twitter cancel mob demanded they fire her. Again, why? Because Gina Carano advocated for love between neighbors. Seriously. In a social media post, Carano warned that in the lead-up to the crimes of the Nazi regime, Nazi leaders first had to stir up hatred for Jews among their friends. Jews were beaten in the streets not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children, said the post. And to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. So Carano essentially told those who hate their neighbors for their political views to be careful not to become so bigoted toward them that they wouldn't even object if they were unjustly persecuted. After Lucasfilm announced that Carano would suddenly disappear from her role in The Mandalorian, thousands of disappointed fans reluctantly canceled their subscriptions to Disney+. It looked like yet another piece of all-American entertainment had been invaded by the toxic world of secular political rhetoric. The story of The Mandalorian was over, and all we'd have to look forward to was the message it would send by excluding Carano. But then something amazing happened something Gina Carano called an answer to prayer. She quickly landed a new gig, and in partnership with the Jewish and Christian-led Daily Wire, Gina Carano is now slated to produce and star in a film of her own. I cried out and my prayer was answered, says Carano. I am sending out a direct message of hope to anyone living in fear of cancellation by the totalitarian mob. Carano now sees herself as a partner of religious Jews, Christians, patriots, and others who feel excluded by establishment media and megacorporations like Twitter and Disney. And not only does she want to love her neighbors and stick up for them, she wants us to do so too. I have only just begun using my voice, which is now freer than ever before, and I hope it inspires others to do the same, she says. They can't cancel us if we don't let them. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.